excited for today's video because it is what I pack in my hospital bag and I've done this once before um, so this is my second baby and I am due in like a month I'm 36 weeks currently close to 37 weeks but I really feel like this little boy his name is Quentin if you are new to my channel I feel like he's coming early you guys and I don't know whether that means like 38 weeks or 39 weeks I just have a feeling and just based off how I feel with this pregnancy versus how I was with Camden's pregnancy I mean it's a struggle every day he is so low and I feel the pressure non-stop down there I constantly have to sit just because the pressure is so bad we'll see when he actually comes but it is definitely time to pack the hospital bag and just get everything ready and prepared just in case he wants to make his debut a little bit early. So I do want to say that I overpack. I am an overpacker and I've always been that way. So I most likely overpacked, but I would rather overpack and have everything I needed more than not have enough. And as you can see, I have my duffel bag with pretty much everything that I'm gonna need and then I have my diaper bag with everything that I'm gonna need for Quentin. Alex, my husband, will just have to go ahead and pack his own bag because I am not packing for him. He's a last minute packer so once uh, either my water breaks or I start having contractions and it's time to like get things moving, I'm sure he'll throw a bunch of stuff in a bag and we'll just go. I do wanna show you guys my new duffel bag. This is what I'm gonna be using for my hospital bag and I I'm so obsessed with it. I know I use that word way too much, but it's true. I love it so much. It is from the brand Stony Clover Lane, and I will put a link down below to their website if you want to check them out, but they make personalized bags, personalized um, accessories, travel cases, like makeup cases. They seriously have so many different bags, and you can literally customize it and personalize it um, with whatever you want. It's so cool. It's a really really fun site to go on and to just try out You can literally like I made this myself. I picked out the bag. I wanted they have so many different colors This is the white pebble duffel um, But it does come in nylon it comes in a bunch of other um, Materials I believe I picked out these letters to spell my name Liza Adele um, I love the leopard <laughs> literally obsessed with it um, but you can go on their site and check them out I think you guys would really really love them because who doesn't like personalized stuff we're gonna go through my bag first and then I will show you what's in the diaper bag with all of Quentin's stuff all right if you guys know me if you guys have been following me for a while I'm obviously bringing my makeup if you saw my first labor and delivery vlog with Camden I did my makeup in that video like when I was in the hospital bed just waiting to deliver him and uh, <laughs> people had a lot to say about that but I am definitely bringing my makeup this time again. I just have all of my makeup in here. I'm not going to go through it. You guys know what kind of makeup I wear and I usually have it linked in my description anyway. This is a really long phone charger. I don't know how long it is but I ordered it on Amazon. I will find it and link it down below. No. I didn't order it on Amazon. I got it from like TJ Maxx, but I'll find a similar one on Amazon and link it down below for you guys. Or you can just go check out your local TJ's and see if they have it. It's really cute. It's blush pink, so I love it. But it's always good to have a really long um, phone charger just because you're going to be in a hospital bed. You have no idea how far away the outlet plug is. So, duh. It's just a necessity when you go to the hospital. I am going to be bringing this little bendy tripod just because I'm going to be vlogging and so I'm going to need that. So I have a bunch of these cute little travel cases. I did get this set from Cowpack um, and I will link everything that I talk about in this video. I will try and link down below so just make sure to check out the links if you're wondering where anything is from. So in this one I have all of my toiletries. I'm going to open it and just go through them really quickly with you guys. I have this little clear pouch. I have my prenatals in there and then I have my air pods in there as well because I feel like I'm going to need those for sure. I'm bringing this Gold Bond Eczema Relief Body Cream just because the hospital is so, so dry. And then I'll be bringing my It's a 10 Miracle Silk Leave-In for my hair. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to wash my hair when I'm in the hospital. My hair lately has lasted me a while when I wash it. Hopefully I will have time to do it before I need to go to the hospital, but you never know. I might have to go in there with like dirty ass greasy hair and I may have to wash it the next day in the hospital. So I just want to be prepared. So I'm going to bring this stuff. Um, also a hairbrush. And then I picked up a bunch of things from the travel section in Target. I highly, highly recommend to go there and check out their stuff. They have amazing little travel items um, that you can bring to the hospital. So I picked up the coconut milk shampoo from OGX and then the Argan Oil of Morocco conditioner from OGX just because these are small and really nice to travel with. And then obviously a little toothbrush and some toothpaste, some Cetaphil cleanser for my face, as well as the little face lotion too. And then some deodorant, Native is my favorite, and so I'm bringing a little mini Native deodorant. And then some makeup removing wipes. These are just like the little small packs of them. This is so cute. The Soap and Glory Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. This was from Target and I just thought it was adorable. And so I will be bringing this to use as my soap in the shower. Here is a little Batiste dry shampoo because I'm definitely gonna need some dry shampoo. And then I picked up a Kenra Volume Finishing Spray just in case. <laughs> I'm also going to throw my curling wand that I religiously use to curl my hair. It's the Numi one. I'm going to throw that in my bag as well, but not until we're ready to leave because I use that so much. And then chapstick. This is probably, if I could give advice to anyone packing their hospital bag, I would say to bring chapstick. I just remember laying in that hospital bed and I just remember my skin being so dry and wanting lotion and my eczema really flaring up and my lips being so cracked and just wanting to be like moisturized all over. So I'm bringing the Blistex Soft and Lush Ultra Rich and Creamy Chapstick. This Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. And then this is the nipple cream that I got. Um, it's from Mother Love. It had amazing reviews on Amazon. I've never used this brand before, but the reviews were just so good that I decided to pick this uh, nipple cream up and it's organic and then I picked up this wish garden after ease for pregnancy um, supplement I saw this on I think it was Brittany and baby's hospital bag video she talked about this stuff and said it was like amazing um, to use after you give birth just because of the you still get contractions after you give birth unfortunately and this stuff I think you just mix it in your drink and it's just supposed to help with the pains and the discomfort of after you have the baby so this also had amazing reviews as well, so I ended up grabbing it. A pair of socks. These are called Shorty Slipper Non-Slip Gripper Socks. They're just cute little pink fuzzy ones with the grips on the bottom. And I just got these from Giant, which is my local grocery store, so you can, you can find these anywhere. And then I actually have these from my last pregnancy, just the Medela Disposable Nursing Pads. I know they give you, I'm pretty sure they give you pads at the hospital. They give you so much stuff at the hospital so really you don't need to overpack but again I just like to just in case so I figured I'd throw these in there just in case and then I'm going to be bringing some undies so I'm bringing two pairs of um, my maternity underwear these are like the low cut ones just a nude pair and a gray pair that just go under the belly because I know I'm still going to have a belly after I give birth obviously and then I'm bringing two pair of these high-waisted postpartum maternity underwear that I got on Amazon. Um, I got a pack of, I think, four in black, and I'm just going to bring two pairs. I don't know if I'm really going to want to wear these until I get home, but I'm going to bring them just in case. And then I'm bringing three nursing bras. So the first one is this really cute mauve one that I got from Target, and it's a sports bra, but it's a nursing bra too. And it has padding in it, which I love. And then I bought a pack of, I believe, five nursing bras on Amazon. Um, it came with literally every single color. A nude, a black, a pink, a white, and a gray. So um, they came in and I'm loving them. I actually haven't worn it yet, but they're so soft. I love that they're padded. Um, and then they just clip in the back like a regular bra. I'm bringing my 
nude one and my black one and i think three nursing bras is more than enough you probably just need one or two but whatever all right next is this big mama bag um so this has like my clothes and stuff in it so this will be fun first and foremost i'm really excited to finally get to wear a cute hospital gown because when i gave birth to camden i just used the regular old hospital gown that they give you there um, because i had no idea that they made cute ones and i remember watching aaron williams um labor and delivery with skyla and just being like what the hell how did i not know about this brand that makes cute nursing gowns not nursing gowns hospital gowns so i think the brand is called let's see i think they're called gownies but i just want to make sure that i get that right yes gownies and they have so many different prints and colors and they're all so cute it was really hard to choose but i ended up getting this one how cute is this i love love the colors i got a baby blue just because i'm having a boy i know it has pink flowers on it but i figure i'm wearing it so it's totally fine and it comes with a matching pillow which is so cute so i can't wait to put this on and if I do have any coupon codes for any of these brands, I will put them down below. I'm just not sure off the top of my head uh, what they are right now. All right. Next, I picked this up just the other day from Bye Bye Baby, I believe. The brand is Bump in the Night. That's cute. And it's just a like charcoal gray um, nursing nightgown, like a little dress, but you sleep in it. Um, and it is nursing so you can unclip the straps. It's padded. I love my stuff padded because my boobs are floppy mommy boobs. And I thought this would look super cute under the robes I'm about to show you guys. One of the robes I got from Pink Blush is this gorgeous, like, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a, a bluish green, like a teal. How beautiful is that? I absolutely love it. And then the sleeves have this, like, gorgeous white lace on them pink blush really does make the cutest robes and they're so so soft so highly recommend them if you're looking for cute um maternity or like labor and delivery robes or whatever so i got this one and i thought that this like gray little nightgown would be cute under the robe while i'm in the hospital and then also postpartum when i'm home as well so I did wear this robe in my pregnancy morning routine video and I had a lot of y'all ask where I got it from and I did get this one from Pink Blush as well. This is more of a, I would say this is like a gray, almost like a light lavender color. Um, but I thought that was really beautiful too. And again, this has the lace sleeves, which is like my favorite part. All right, now we're getting into like my I guess going home <laughs> my coming home outfit my um like leaving the hospital outfit i don't know how i'm gonna feel i don't know if i'm gonna want something super comfortable and loose to go home in which most likely knowing me that's what i'm gonna want or if i'm gonna want something tighter i don't really know so i'm just gonna bring a couple options but um this is just a basic black maternity tank it's just really stretchy and long so i'm gonna bring that and then I actually bought two new nursing tops um, at Target the other day. So I got this nude one. It does have a built-in bra. It's very, very soft. And then I picked up this black one. I picked up a couple t-shirts from American Eagle. So this is one of the shirts I picked up. It's really cute. It just says babes and i just love the color it's an oversized like boyfriend fit tee and they're very soft so i picked up this one too this is just like a really pretty tan one and it says sun kissed on it i'm not sure if you guys can see that or not but i'm gonna bring this tee and then i'm bringing two pairs of leggings so i'm bringing my like holy grail maternity leggings um from pee in the pod and they go over the belly and then i'm bringing a pair from old navy that go under the belly just because again i don't know what i'm gonna feel like wearing if i'm gonna want something over my belly or if i'm gonna want something under so i'm just bringing both options and then last but not least i'm bringing a little cardigan this is from urban outfitters um i have these in a bunch of colors but i'm just gonna bring this really cute tan one to throw over um like a tank top if 
I'm cold or whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys what is in the diaper bag. And this is the bag that I'm going to be using for all of Quentin's stuff. Um, this is the Luli BB. I do have a coupon code, I think of 25%. And I think it's Liza25, but I will leave that down below. It's always in the description of all of my videos in case you guys are wondering. I love this diaper bag and I have it in black and then I have the blush and they have a few more colors as well but it's just so big and roomy and I love how many pockets are in it. Um, I just think it's perfect for two or more kiddos and now that I'm going to have two little babes I definitely just like need the room. I think I'm most excited to show you guys what's in this bag but all right we're going to start with a little stuffed animal that I got. Quentin because I saw it and I almost died. I was so obsessed. I love this little dinosaur. I love the colors of it. I think it is so beautiful. It's from Anthropology, and I literally got it last week, like right when I saw it in the store. I was just like, that's Quentin's. Like it's just so freaking cute. I love how it's like knit, if you can see the actual material. Um, it's just so cute. So I'm going to bring this to the hospital for him. I just think it'd be really cute and like some pictures and stuff like that. So I'm going to bring a pacifier for Quentin. Now I know a lot of people say don't give them the passy because then they will get the nipple confusion and then they won't latch or whatever. Obviously I'm going to try to get him to latch and to, you know, drink milk and all that before I introduce a pacifier to him. But I just want to bring one just in case. You never know. Sometimes it really will calm a baby down. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to bring it. So I'm going to bring this really cute taupe one. I love this brand, Ryan and Rose. They have the cutest pacifiers and pacifier clips and they're really soft and I think you can also use them as teethers as well like when they grow their teeth but I'm going to be bringing this taupe one for him I just have to wash it and then I'm going to be bringing this pacifier clip it's so cute it's like woven and then some pacifier wipes I'm going to be bringing this baby shusher. It's so cool, you guys. I did not have this with Candon, but I know it's very popular. So it's le legit a man, like, shh, like shushing your baby for you. But um, it says the sleep miracle. So I'm just going to bring it to the hospital just in case we need this. And then I'm bringing three swaddles, which may be overdoing it. I probably don't need three swaddles. So I'm bringing this really adorable dinosaur print one. I think this is from Copper Pearl, I want to say. And it's so soft, you guys. It's so soft. And I have a matching hat that I will show you in just a minute that goes with it. So I think it'd be really cute to have him swaddled up in this with his cute little matching dinosaur hat. This is from Mebby or Mebby Baby is the brand, but I did get it um, from the shop What Little Wonder, which has the cutest things on their website. I'm like obsessed with them, but I love this rusty color and the print. I just think this is so cute and like how cute with the dinosaur. I'm definitely bringing this swaddle just because I think the color is beautiful. And then... Last but not least, of course, I'm bringing his name swaddle. This is the one that I got from Little Navy. Um, and it is so, so, so soft and really nice and warm for a newborn baby. So I definitely want to bring this and have him wrapped up in that one. And I have the rest of Quentin's stuff in this little pouch. So... This actually is for Camden, but it's we're going to give it to him as a little gift from Quentin at the hospital when he comes to meet his brother. And it says Big Brother, and then in parentheses at the bottom it says The Original, which I think is adorable. I actually got this as a gift from one of my girlfriends. It is from Carter's, but I just think it's so cute, and I think he'll love it. I also do plan on getting Camden another kind of gift, like a little toy or something, and saying that it's from Quentin. I heard that that's a really great thing to do if you already have one kid and you're having another one and you're going to introduce them, is to get the older kid a little gift from the baby. I don't know what I'm going to get him. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. 
And then here is the little matching dinosaur top knot hat from Copper Pearl. It goes with the swaddle, which is so cute. Okay, I'm going to show you Quentin's going home outfit. It is so freaking adorable. Here it is. I picked this beautiful, like, I think it's called Seafoam Green onesie. The brand is Loved Baby. They make, like, the softest, cutest little onesies in so many different nice colors. And they have, like, different prints and stuff, too. But I just wanted a basic color. Um, but I actually got this made. As you can see, it is embroidered with Quentin's name on there. And I did get it made from an Etsy shop called SK Creations. I'll leave them down below. Um... But this size is so tiny, and I'm just hoping that it'll fit Quentin. I picked out the preemie slash newborn size, so it's from 4 to 7 pounds. Camden was 7'11", and the doctor told me that this baby will probably be a little less than Camden or the same as Camden. I didn't want to go with the 0 to 3 month. I mean, since it's his going home outfit, I just wanted him to fit in it. And I feel like if I got something 0 to 3 month, it'd just be too big. So we'll see if he fits in this little thing. But it's so freaking cute. And it has like the little sleeves that roll over so they don't scratch themselves. And then I got the matching little baby hat to go with it from Loved Baby. I had to order this separately. I don't think that these are sold on the SK Creations Etsy shop. But you can just go to lovedbaby.com and order the matching hat. So that's what I did. So that's going to be his little coming home outfit. And I think it is so adorable. And then... I am bringing this onesie. Nice to meet you. This is in a newborn size, and this is also from the shop What Little Wonder. I love it. I think it's so cute. So I think I'm going to put him in this for like a little picture, and then I have this really cute um, like camel colored top knot hat from Copper Pearl that would be really cute with it, or um, this black one from Copper Pearl would also be really cute with it. So, I don't know. I'm just going to bring a couple options just to see. This gown from Lulu and Company. They make the softest gowns ever. So, it's one of the ones that you tie a knot at the bottom. But I just thought it was really cute. Oh, this is the hat that I'm going to bring to go with this gown. This is from Copper Pearl. And it's just their milk and cookies print, which is so cute. I also have the swaddle that goes with this too. This is also another loved baby onesie, but this is in the size zero to three months. This is in the color bark, I believe. And um, loved baby just again has really, really nice little sleepers. So I picked this up and I'm going to bring this just in case. And I brought, I mean, I'm bringing like a four top knot hats. So this will go with so many of them. And then I'm also bringing this Lulu and Company gown. This is the same one as the blue one, but it's in this beautiful, like, um, taupey tan color. And then this is the last thing I'm bringing for him. I love this gown. This color just, like, literally is so beautiful. It's from the brand Willow and Company, but I did get this from the What Little Wonder shop. It's another gown that you just tie a knot at the bottom, but I was just so obsessed with this beautiful mustard yellow color, so I have to bring it. I do have a list in my phone of just like last minute items that I need to throw in my bag that I'm just going to go over with you guys. A toy for Cam, a breast pump. Now, I had issues before in the hospital with Camden not latching, and so he wasn't really eating because the nurses didn't really tell me to like pump or give him formula. They just said to like wait until he latched. And that's a mistake that I don't plan to make again. Like, if the baby's hungry, he's got to eat regardless of if he will or won't latch. So, I don't know if I should bring a breast pump or not. I am getting one free through insurance. I'm getting the Spectra. Let me know down below if you guys think I should bring it. Because don't hospitals have pumps there that I could just use instead of lugging mine all the way to the hospital? My curling wand. And then, of course, like, my vlogging camera. The memory card. Um, probably an extra memory card my camera battery and the charger and then my eyeglasses because I can't see anything far away so if there's a TV in the room and I'm like trying to watch a movie or something I'm not gonna be able to see it so I'm gonna 100% need to bring my glasses so that's something I don't want to forget so that is everything that I have um, written down that I need to pack and everything that I've packed you guys please let me know if there's any necessary items that I am just completely forgetting about 
please leave them down below. Stay tuned because I have a lot more really fun videos coming at you before I go into labor, hopefully. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to do like a pregnancy and maternity favorite. I want to show you my new double stroller I got in, the new car seat I got in for Quentin. I want to show you my whole little setup in my bedroom that I'm going to have for Quentin, like my bassinet and my changing table and all the bins with all of his stuff in it and everything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Take me out to California. Take me out to California. I feel the day.